Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be sharing some test results that I got with the Ascar 103 at f4 in one shot color. Now this video came about because quite a few of you reached out and requested it. So here I am making sure you get the information. Now before we get into it, uh, make sure you check out my playlist if you haven't seen it. I have now six videos in the series for the Ascar 103. And I'll put that in a link in the description below, so make sure you check that out if you haven't already. All right, a couple things before we get into it. The equipment I use. So the only thing I switched up was the camera. So what I used was my new, well, new to me, ASI 071 MC Pro. I love this camera, right? It is APS-C sensor still, like my other one. I use a DSLR in my other videos, so there's not going to be a lot of difference in that. Uh, I use, of course, the F4 reducer flattener and also the same UVIR cut filter from ZWO. All right. So with that, let's take a look at our data. All right. I have a few pictures for you guys to look at. And here is the first one. This is the Angel Nebula. The only thing I did to it was debare it and also use some SCNR because it was super green, <laughs> of course, because it's one shot color. But one thing you want to look at here is the vignetting in F4. So it does have considerable vignetting in F4, but I think that it's nothing that couldn't be calibrated out with flats. And I'll show you that here in a little bit. Okay, so here are the stars, and we're just gonna take a look at the star field here. And this is a single sub, guys. This is not stacked. And we're gonna take a look at the stars in the corner. So if I take a look at the stars in the corner, they look pretty good. I mean, at F4, we're getting a little bit of elongation here. And this is the top left-hand side of things. And here is the top right hand side. And you can tell this is elongation because all the stars are heading towards the center of the frame, right? So keep that in mind. Here's the bottom right hand side. And also the far left. All right, so not bad, but here's, here's where we're finding a little bit of fringing, of course. And when I mean a little fringing, I mean it is minuscule. So here is an example of a blue star. And let's zoom in on it here. And that's, I would consider this more of a halo more than anything, but this is how the reducer focuses the blue light on stars. And you'll kind of see a little bit of aberration here in some of the red and orange ones too. But that is, I think, mostly due to the elongation of things. If we back out of things, though, everything looks really, really good. I don't see anything jumping out at me, right? And here is the dead center of the frame. To me, this looks really good. So to make sure, since we have a second target, let's take a look at that data too. So let me put that away, and here's Markarian's chain. Okay, again, lots of vignetting, right? And uh, you can see Markarian's chain here. And let's take a look at the stars here. So here is, again, the top left-hand side. And here's a blue halo here. So that's what it's going to look like in your individual subs. Again, we see a little bit of elongation, so that's consistent, but it's round for the most part. Very impressed with it. Top right. Right. Elongation we're seeing here. Bottom right. Again, elongation heading towards the middle of the frame. 
and then bottom left. Not bad. So let's check out the center as well, just so we can see what the best stars are going to look like here. And honestly, it does focus the red, green, and blue light from what I see very, very well. It's, it's well centered. It's not perfect, but for the price you're getting this reducer and this refractor, can't really beat it, right? And it, it does really good right here, especially for a budget refractor. Uh, I do have a third photograph too, and this is fully calibrated and fully stacked of Markarian's chain. This is beautiful, guys. The vignetting did calibrate out nicely and then stacked. Let's take a look at the stars here. It did center all the colors pretty well, right? The blue light, though, if we pixel peep just a little bit, it's up more near the top, almost to the fringe, but not quite. I, I think this F4, and surprised me, because I was never going to use this uh, for OSC. I, I think I will now, because... It does such a really, really good job here. And check, take a look at this. I got a lot of definition right in that wide field kind of shot there. And this is the bottom left hand corner. So we're kind of seeing how the colors are lining up here in the stars too. But uh, all in all, I think this is a nice photo especially for a refractor of this price point. All right, guys. Well, I guess the only thing left to do here is enjoy my photo of Markarian's chain. Well, I hope you found this helpful, and I guess I'll see you in the next one. Peace.